Hello, good morning. Today we'll be talking about the Smart Choice Returning Registration. Key questions. Why is it updating a Smart Choice important? By updating Smart Choice, Lancaster School District will have the most up-to-date contact information as well as health information, which we all know is extremely important in terms of communication and student well-being. It is important to complete the re-registration before the beginning of this new school year. How to access Smart Choice? You can access Smart Choice online either at home or your phone tablet. Another option is to go to the Welcome and Wellness Center or at the school site your child will be attending. How to update Smart Choice? You can update Smart Choice online either at home at the Welcome and Wellness Center or at the school site your child will be attending. An update on Smart Choice is required before the beginning of each school year. Caregivers are notified when Smart Choice is open for changes. Key questions. Who can you ask for help? You can contact the Welcome and Wellness Center at 661 area code 4718400 or you can contact the school your student will be attending. Where can you go for help? Computers are available for parents to use at the school site that your student will be attending. You can also go to the Welcome and Wellness Center. Due to COVID-19, please follow social distancing protocols. How can you access Smart Choice? By going directly to the Smart Choice website at reg.lancsd.org forward slash login. Via the Lancaster School District website at www.lan csd.org by clicking on the online enrollment image just like it shows right here then clicking on the online registration image like it shows on this site online registration via power school parent portal website at psschool.lancsd.org only through web version note you will already need to have a parent portal account set up. Clicking on the student information registration on the left at the bottom, like it shows right here, you will be directed to the Smart Choice login site. Please note that the district code is capital letters TMPG. Require documents. You may need to submit registration documents if your address has changed. Your child is going from 6th grade to 7th grade and school needs records of a TDAP, for example. You are enrolling a new transitional kinder, TK or kinder student, foster, custody, or core paperwork. Below is some useful information. Smart Choice Parent Login. Returning parents should already have an existing parent login. This is the same as your used last school year. Please use your email and password to log in. Use the forget email forward slash password if necessary. If you are not sure if you already have a parent account, please call the school your child attends or the Welcome and Wellness Center for assistance. Here in the red box, it shows you where to log in if you already have your account. Parent Dashboard. Hello screen. Once logged in, your, you will see your parent dashboard. First, make sure you are on the correct school year. It should say 2021-2022 like it shows right here. You can change this by clicking on the year. Second, click on, on the name of the child you will be re-enrolling in the blue box like it shows right here. For this example, the child's name is John Doe. If you have more children attending the Lancaster School District, you will, will see all of their names following John Doe as right here, like it shows right here. Once you have a click on the child's name, then click on the tab that says your child's first name on the word registration. For example, 
Jane's registration right here. Re-enrollment form. This is the first couple of questions you'll see. On this screen, the information will be pre-filled. Please verify your student's grade and the current home address. If your home address has changed, please update on the screen. Come from your address by clicking on the address that appears in the beige box. What if my address changed? If your address has changed, you will need to upload into Smart Choice a current proof of address residence in the verification documentation section. You will attach any other necessary documents here as well. On the McKinney Vento part right here, the Homeless Assistance Act, please read the questions carefully and answer accurately. Depending on your answers, there will be more information needed. If you have any questions regarding proof of address or the McKinney event, please call your school site or the Welcome and Wellness Center for assistance. On a returning student smart choice update, you will go through the 16 steps right here. Several sections will already be pre-filled with your notif with your information, so all of you will have to do is update any new information. You will need to add information to any blank fields with asterisk, as the red asterisk. Once you have updated information for your student and you find that you need to make more changes, please call your child's school to make changes. On step 15, review all your information you will not be able to go back to make changes. Then you can submit. You have now completed the registration process. It would show you right here that you have completed. If you need to make any changes after submitting, you will need to contact the school. I have more students I need to register. What do I do? Once completed, click on my dashboard. You will be directed back to your dashboard where you will see names of additional students linked to your account. Click on the name and follow the same steps. Questions. When is the Smart Choice portal open? Smart Choice opens in April of each year for parents to complete their returning student registration. What do I do if I move or change phone numbers in the middle of the school year? Please contact your child's school to update your information. Reminder, there is a lot of help available. Updating Smart Choice every year is important. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your child's school or the Welcome and Wellness Center for support. Thank you and have a wonderful day.